in 15 seconds or less, I'll let you know why you should watch this video. Number one, I'm going to tell you how to cut down your time planning your RV trips. You're going to get a free RV travel agent that is in your back pocket and works on demand. And lastly, you have a chance to win an annual membership for RV life. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. Okay. So y'all are in the middle of planning some of your upcoming trips, whether it be trips for the summer, some winter stays, et cetera. You're in that planning process and it's taken you so long to get over the hump. Whether you're planning a single state visit or a cross country visit, you're just having a tough time. Well, I'll tell you this, there are some tools and one particular tool in general combined with the use of another tool that's going to make it easier. And what I'll tell you is it's not Google because when you go into Google, you're probably looking for something like RV parks near Tampa. And then you kind of like go down that rabbit hole. It expects you to know exactly what it is that you're looking for. And while it can be helpful to, you know, kind of find some places to actually stay, when we search for that, there's over 8 million results here. How on earth are we expected to get through all of it? Spoiler alert, we're not. And I will show you how to overcome this barrier of not knowing how to book your upcoming trip because you just don't have any ideas. So one great option if you're stuck is opening up a tool like RV Trip Wizard, which we've been using for the past two years and it's a great tool. We are actually affiliates of, for this program. So we do have a link in the description where you can get 25% off. Just so you know, we do get a small kickback if you do decide to sign up that way, but it is an option for you and it's a great tool. And we found a lot of value in using this particular tool to plan out our trips. So the great thing about it is you can hop in here, you can click on create a trip and then you can name it whatever you want to name it, and then hit the ground running. You choose a starting location. So I can say that I am in St. Louis, Missouri. I can put that in as my starting location. And then that will allow me to kind of start building out my trip. Now there's a bunch of people that talk about how to use Trip Wizard. That's not necessarily the goal of this discussion because again, we have something that is going to rock your world when you use in partnership with Trip Wizard to just make things a little bit easier. But the great things I'll highlight here about Trip Wizard is that you are able to set some driving considerations that will allow you to effectively kind of plan out a route to a particular destination. Again, if you kind of have an idea of where you're going, it's really helpful. Um, with Trip Wizard specifically, you can actually set distances that you want to travel. So let's just say we don't want to travel any more than 300 miles in a day, which is roughly about our, our time limit that or our mileage limit that we uh, don't want to exceed. You set that mileage limit and then you can, you know, put in any other preferences here. You can add details about your specific RV, et cetera. Once you do all of that, it will actually then start to generate your trip for you, okay? So in this view, we can see that like starting out um, in St. Louis, we can see about how far we can drive in a day. So we can see that we can go out to Kansas City, we can go out to Louisville, we can go up to Chicago. So we have a good range of like areas that we can go to, right? But where on earth do we wanna go? If only there was like a travel agent for RVs. And that's what I'm going to show you is something that will allow you to use the power of Trip Wizard with this tool in order to maximize your planning time and really probably cut your time in half, honestly, especially if you're starting from scratch and have no idea about where to go. So let's jump into that. Okay, so this is where it gets really magical. And this is where chat GPT almost becomes like a travel agent for your RV trips. This is legit. So let's just say you want to plan a cross country trip and you have no idea where you want to go. You really just want something that's going to make you feel inspired and you want to get some ideas from people. Um, 
But that's not really appropriate. Like you can't really go on Facebook and say like, hey, everybody give me a trip idea. But that's where chat GPT comes into play. So got a prompt already written up here. So real quick, you're planning a cross country trip over the months of June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. And you wanna chase 70 degree weather patterns based on historical data. You're starting in St. Louis. You're open to travel approximately 300 miles per day. You wanna plan a logical route and itinerary that considers weather patterns in addition to places to visit in each area. We want to make sure that the system recommends stopping points between each destination, making sure that we drive no more than 300 miles a day. We are giving this thing a tremendous amount of information for it to react to. Let's see if we can get it to plan out a perfect trip for us. I fully expect to have to provide some additional information, but let's see what we come up with. So this seems like a pretty solid schedule. Uh, the one thing that I'm not sure of is if there's any like outstanding weather patterns there, like tornadoes, hurricanes, et cetera. And you can certainly build that into your uh, trip planning, but that's something that you can add into your query. Let's just stick with this particular query just for the sake, for, for the sake of this example. So in the month of June, let's go ahead and plan that out. Now that we are back in Trip Wizard, here's where the magic happens. You can see here, this is our overall plan, right? So for June, we want to go from St. Louis to Kansas City to Salina to Limon to Denver. Okay, so that's our overall plan. Let's go ahead and figure out the best way to do this. So if I were approaching it this way, I would actually just add in the locations where I want to travel to, to make it easier for me to reference on the map. So I will search for Kansas City up here first, add that in, more details, save custom stop. Then I go ahead and add in Selena, Kansas. Add that in, more details, save as custom stop. I would add in Lemon, and I hope it's said that way, not Lyman, because I, I just like Lemon better. It's very eccentric, if you will. <laughs> and then Denver, of course. And we're only going to plan out this first piece of the trip. I'm not sure why. Oh, Denver, Colorado. It's right in front of my face. Okay. So then we'll save that custom stop. All right, so we can kind of see like high level here what the math looks like. We've got 249 here, 175, 344, 101. And I'm looking at miles, by the way. So now that we have that all figured out, we can click to show our entire trip, turn the campgrounds off, and we can see kind of what our route looks like. Now that we know we're going to be in Kansas City, we can kind of zoom in on this area, turn our campgrounds back on click into the area and then say, oh, maybe we like this particular RV park. So we'll go ahead and add that to our trip. We're gonna say we're gonna stay there for one night and we're gonna add that after, sorry, after St. Louis. And then we're gonna go ahead and delete that stop. And then next we're gonna go to Selena. So we can either click to show the entire trip and zoom in from there, or we can click on the name over here on the left. We can see that there's a KOA over there. So we'll go ahead and add that to the trip. We're staying there for one night and adding that after La Casita. And then we're going to delete Selena. And then we can click over to Limon and we can see that there is a KOA here. We can add that to the trip for one night, add that after Selena KOA holiday, and then we can go ahead and delete Lamont, and then we can click to Denver, zoom out a bit. You can see we've got a campground here, so we'll add that in, and that'll be after Lamont KOA journey, and then we'll delete that. So effectively, assuming that like you're able to really kind of look at these things on the fly, you now have your trip from St. Louis to Denver planned out. 
And that literally took less than three minutes for me to just kind of like build that out. Now, again, you will have to want, you will want to do some research and things like that as you go, which I'll talk a little bit more about that here in a second. Okay. So let's say you're wanting to research one of these parks within RV Trip Wizard. It actually makes it very easy. Let's click on one that actually has some more reviews. Okay. So if we want to research this particular park, we can actually click on park details and we can see information directly within RV Life Trip Wizard. The great thing is we can get an idea of cost. We can see photos of the park that we can kind of scroll through here. We can click over to features and amenities and kind of see what the deal is with that. We can look at the reviews. Okay, place to stop. Great, we're not planning on spending a long time. So you can kind of see what people were saying there. You can look at the tips and, and Q&A to kind of get an idea of what people are recommending uh, related to this. And you can literally, again, do everything within this tool. You don't have to leave it. However, if you do decide to leave the tool, you do have the link to their website here and you have campground reviews which used to be campground reviews now called rv life campgrounds you can click out to that listing from here as well so essentially anything that you need to do in order to plan for your trip you can do it directly within this platform now, if you want to buy a life um a year-long membership for rv life it's 59 dollars a year and then you would get 25 percent savings on that if you use the link in the description so we do get a kickback from that so i won't hide that fact but if you are interested in purchasing rv life there is a link down in the description but what if you don't want to purchase it first things first you can get a seven day free trial on the site so that's fantastic but Now it's time for the big reveal. We are, as we said, giving away three free memberships for RV Life Pro. It's $59 normally, 25% off of that with our discount if you use the link in the description. But we're giving away three memberships for free. All you have to do is click down in the description, follow the rules there, and you will be entered for a chance to win. So what does that look like? What does that mean? If you're not already familiar with RV Life, there's a lot of tools that you get as a result of that. One is the RV Life app, which actually provides uh, the ability for you to look up campgrounds and things like that on the fly, but it has a GPS built into it as well. So say goodbye to Apple Maps, Google Maps, and any of those GPS systems that have got you turned around, RV Life will help you get there safely because it designs its routes with your particular rig in mind. Next, you get what we were just talking about, RV Life Trip Wizard, the easy button for trip planning. There, It literally doesn't get any easier with the exception of using ChatGPT in combination with uh, that tool. And then you have campground reviews. You get to see all the information about parks. Not only do you get to see reviews, but you get to see things like internet connectivity and things like that that will ultimately help you make a decision on if a campground is right for you. You have RV Life Maintenance Tracker, which really does give you an opportunity to save the important details about maintenance that you've done on your RV. They have classes and communities where you can learn more about RVing and get connected with others in the community. Again, this is a 59 dollar value it's 25 percent off with our link in the description or if you're one of the lucky three you will get one of three rv life pro memberships to use no cost to you so we're really excited to be partnering with uh, RV Life on this. We sincerely thank them for participating in this giveaway and making this possible. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and check out RV Life. They do publish content regularly. And they also have a podcast where they share all kinds of interesting information that you might find valuable as an RVer. So again, click the link down in the description enter the giveaway and we hope that you are the next winner of a complimentary rv life pro membership if this is the type of content that you want to see let us know
We have all sorts of ideas up our sleeves. So, but we will only make this content if it's valuable for you. We are committed to making sure that you're aware of all the cool and fun things that are happening as it relates to planning RV trips and staying in the RV. So with that said, until we see each other again, please enjoy staying in the RV.